Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to show you is how we go about proving the product rule for differentiation. It's not something that most exam boards ask you to prove, but uh, it's just here in case you do want to know how it's done. What we've got is, say, y equaling u times v, where u and v are two functions of x. Now if we increase u and v by small amounts, what's going to result is a small increase in y. So if we say that we have a small increase in u, that would be say delta u, then we've got u plus delta u, and we multiply that by a small increase in v, that would be v plus delta v, then the result is a small increase in y, which we'll call y plus delta y. Now if I subtract y from both sides of this result, then what we're going to be left with is delta y equals u plus delta u multiplied by v plus delta v, and then we'll just minus y. But we know that y equals uv. So we've got delta y equals u plus delta u multiplied by v plus delta v minus the uv. Now let's expand these two brackets here. If we do that we're going to get uv and then plus u delta v and then we've got this pairing here, that'll be V delta U. And then we've got delta U times delta V. Delta U times delta V there. And then minus the UV. And if we simplify this, you can see that the two UVs, they cancel one another out. And what we're left with is U delta V plus v delta u plus delta u delta v. Now what I'm going to do is now divide both sides by a small amount delta x. So we're going to get delta y divided by delta x is going to equal u delta v divided by delta x. And then for this term it will be plus v delta u divided by delta x and then for the last term we'll have delta u over delta x multiplied by delta v. Now what we're going to do next is let delta x tend to zero. So as delta x tends to zero then what's going to happen is that delta y over delta x is going to tend towards dy dx. And when it comes to delta v over delta x, delta v over delta x tends towards dv by dx. And we've also got the result that delta u over delta x well, that's going to tend towards du by dx. And also, we've got delta v. Delta v is very small, so we can say also that as delta v tends to zero, so delta u over delta x times delta v well, this is going to tend to zero. Anything multiplied by zero there is going to tend to zero. So, therefore, what we've got is that dy dx now equals u times dv dx, u times dv dx, plus v du dx, v du dx. And this term has gone to zero, and there's our result, the product rule 
for differentiating y equals uv, where u and v are two functions of x.